What is going on, YouTube? PPS back here. It is a late edition of our YouTube play of the day. I'm doing this this afternoon, about 30 minutes after past the prop. Uh, things just got pretty busy for me this morning. Was not able to get a play in for you guys, but you know we're coming at you. I have to do one. We're we're rolling right now. I can't get in the way of this momentum. You know how you know how we do. All right. So we're gonna be rolling um, with one play today. Um, one spot I really really like today. I mean I can't even. I was this was as close as I was gonna contemplate to doing a one and a half unit play, but. I always tell myself early on this season, I usually try to stick those very, very small, and those are more VIP things. So I'm going to try and keep this one low um, and just going to keep rolling the one-unit spots out here. But it's time for a recap, right? Luka Doncic over 15.5 rebounds and assists minus 130. Absolutely smashed it. He ended up having a triple-double. Ended up with like 24 rebounds and assists in this spot. It was great. Absolutely great. Um, I can't uh, complain at all about where we're at with that spot. Luca absolutely dominated with 41%, like we said, usage rate. He was all over the place, gotten even into overtime, and even then he just kept rolling. It didn't even stop there. So absolutely loved that spot and smashed. We are now 6-0 to start the NBA season. Um, unders, overs, rebounds, assists, points, rebounds, assists, points, assists, everywhere we're going. Um, I'm going to another points, rebounds, assists line today. just think this line is completely off, um, and I really like this spot. And I'm heading to Kevin Porter Jr., one of my dogs. I think I've bet him like three times a season so far. Um, absolutely love the spot for him. Facing off against Portland, he is the late-night hammer, guys. There's nothing better than watching your DraftKings or FanDuel lineups just continue to move up when you have the guy just going off in the late-night game. And that's what Kevin Porter Jr. is going to do here. So far this season, he's got a 9.3% um, rebounding rate. He's got a 26 percent assist percentage which is very very good it has a 27 and a half percent usage rate love those numbers in this spot um portland actually is in the middle of the pack uh, of pace um so far this year which is probably because they faced off against some pretty slow teams but even if we go into last year portland usually is around middle of the pack in pace um, and i think that they're gonna be willing to run with these guys right they played miami they played Phoenix, who are a very good defensive team, and they still put up some points there. So um, I don't think the defensive matchup is anything too crazy. I'll talk about that in a little bit more in a second here. But Kevin Porter Jr. has just been fantastic, guys. I mean, he he did not do anything for the first two quarters um, against uh, Utah yesterday or two days ago and just absolutely cooked in the second half. Ended up with 24, 5, and 5. Um, I love that even when he has lower – point days his rebounds assist can carry him right so let's look at his two um two of his lower scoring days we had an 18 point scoring day he ended up with five and seven for his rebounds and assists ends up getting you to 30 right in his other lower one he had 18 points with five and four right gets us to 27 that was in a, a game against memphis where they're obviously a lot better defensively than what we're looking at with portland they have no damian lillard so that means we're going to have to use a little bit more of our energy on the offensive side. And also, so far this season, the Trailblazers are have allowed the second most assists in the NBA behind only um, the Minnesota Timberwolves. So I really like that, especially for a guy who's going to have the ball in his hand a lot, who has a very high assist percentage. I think this is an absolute smash spot for Kevin Porter Jr. He has been fantastic so far to start this season for this young Rockets squad. They are so fun to watch. Um, and I think that that continues here today. Um, he's hit this in three of his five games so far this season. We look at the spots he missed. He missed against the Bucks, and they lost by 20. And he missed it up against a very good defensive team in the Memphis Grizzlies, right? So when we're playing uh, average to below average defense, he's been absolutely crushing it. Um, he's got a ton of usage, like I said. The only guy really fighting him for usage is Jalen Green, but those two look so good together playing off each other assist from Porter to Jalen Green, and even the other way from Jalen Green to Porter. We saw a couple alley-oops that way as well. I just think this spot is so, so good. Pace should be there. Late night hammer, and this guy has so much usage rate here against the defense. It's going to be struggling, and even if they're not struggling that much defensively, they're going to have to use a lot more offensive energy exerted, right? That's where we're going to be because you have no Damian Lillard who has over 30% usage rate. So it's got to go somewhere else. I think that this is a great spot for Kevin Porter Jr. to get right and just keep this train rolling. 6-0. Let's get to 7-0, guys. We're rolling with KPJ. I'll be back tomorrow. 
with another play of the day. Not sure if it's going to be NBA or if it's going to be college football, but I'm very, very excited to continue this run with you guys. If, you, if you've been making money with me, smash that like button, and uh, let's keep this train rolling. So have a good one, guys. Best of luck, and enjoy this 11-game NBA slate.